can't believe how good you extremely sweet stuff. Woo! Hello and welcome back to part two of my first time to ever ride a mountain bike. I'm at the Kohler Mountain Bike Preserve with my good friend Tim who is showing me how to ride a mountain bike. Let's get it. So in part one, I learned my first berm, we did the climbing trail where I learned a whole bunch of mountain biking stuff, and we went down a warm-up lap on Fireline to get us ready, and now we're gonna go do a full lap and see where it takes us. So just kind of right off the bat, I can tell I'm already going considerably faster, which has a lot to do with not being in a climbing gear, like the last video. Yeah, I knew to be in a different gear. Yeah. I was still climbing and that didn't work. Oh yeah, I'm catching air. As you kind of notice, I'm like going really high on these berms, which was terrifying at the time and definitely not where I was supposed to be riding. This is definitely a section where I got kind of tired. You know, mountain biking is exercise or something. I wasn't, I'm not comfortable doing that speed on nope. all these things yet. And my arms are jiggled. Yeah, mine too. I have too much air in my fork. So I'm really apprehensive or cautious to do the needed speed to hit a jump line properly because the faster you go, the more the crashes hurt. And I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm kind of expecting at some point I'll probably crash. Also, if you've never gone mountain biking like me, arm jiggle is a big deal because the vibrations on the trail can wear your arms out and then you try and steer except your arms don't steer and then you're off in the shrubs and a crash happened and it's not that fun. Why this particular trail vibrated my arms so much was one, a better bike thing, two, a better fork thing, and three, I basically just need to get used to it by going out and riding more because you do get used to it over time. On our way back up, we got a little distracted trying to get a shot of Tim dropping the hammer over top of me. The timing was a little difficult, but when we got it, it was a really cool shot. Perfect! That was perfect timing. All right, ready? Plus gun's over. Oh man, I haven't hit the drop in forever. So when you hit it, it's like slow motion. Your eyes just go and then you land. It's insane. Ready? Ready? Set, go! I waited like two seconds. All right, that's perfect. Let's go for it. Send it. The camera's on Tim, not me. I did a different drop. That one's scary. Is a crazy one. Next, we went down a trail called Rock Soft, so I just blindly followed Tim down a Black Diamond Tech mountain bike trail on my first day on a mountain bike. I ended up letting Tim have the camera for the rest of the ride just so I could have some footage of somebody who actually knew how to ride a mountain bike. All right, cinder. It gets steep up here, so steep and drop. Alright, 
This is where it gets technical. Choose your line wisely. Woo! All right, here's where it gets steep. Just be careful, man. Be careful. Oh my God, you're a boss. Dude, you're so good. It's like you were born to do this in unicycling. You're just as good at this as you are unicycling, man. That's insane. I'm a much better unicycler than I am a mountain biker. Just by the way. All right, downhill time. He's so good, that's insane. I can't believe how good you are. Go wide on the turn. And it gets even steeper. So be careful. Extremely steep stuff. Woo! Oh my god, you're so good! Oh my god, do you know how good you are? How terrified I am. But you're doing it! You're not stupid! You're skilled, man! You're skilled! Thanks. Dude, that's insane! You can roll down something like that! Now we just gotta teach you how to drop. Wow, good job! <laughs> so I'd be careful on this turn. I don't even know if I can do it. I've always walked up this. Oh man, I messed up. I messed up instantly. Oh well. And finally, the part you've been waiting for. My first drop. Stand up, stand up! Oh! <laughs> and here's the story I have to tell because Tim missed the shot when he thought the sky was more important than me. So I went off the drop basically sitting down, which is a bad thing when you're trying to like not crash. And the drop actually went pretty okay, but it's what came after the drop that was the problem. I was heading straight for that first berm I did earlier with a bunch of speed and I'm like, I have to stop now. And so I was like, the fastest way I know to stop is to press the front brake as hard as I possibly can. You know what's happening next, right? So I essentially did a nosy, went up on the front tire, almost went over the bars, I was at like the balance point, and the only reason I knew to let go of my brakes was because I'd been practicing doing a nosy in the parking lot. I'm not good at them, but I at least had some idea as to when I should release the brakes, and thus preventing myself from crashing. So that's my super exciting first time riding a mountain bike at the Kohler Mountain Bike Preserve or any mountain bike park. At the next one, there are considerably more crashes, so stay tuned.